I'm demonstrating the cookie cutter uh, painting technique and for this you just need to have some plastic cookie cutters. Today I'm working with transportation which would be an idea after you've talked about that in science class with the kids. You could also do animals or shapes and I just have some washable paint in different colors and the, the kids could choose which colors and which transportation vehicles they wanted to use and they also have the choice of where they're going to put it and what colors they use for each one. So I'll just start with the airplane and you're going to dip the edges of the cookie cutter into the paint and I just poured a little bit of paint and then kind of spread it out with a plastic spoon or knife or paintbrush whatever you have and then they would just come over and press it and it's up to them if they just want to do one vehicle per on the paper, just one of each. And they just make sure they have all the paint on the edges. So here's a bicycle. And then a school bus. And again, they can choose what colors and which vehicles they would want to use. And just press it down. And then we have a green car. And then also I have, which I had some paper towels to clean up with, but they could also, if you had letters and numbers, they could spell their name out on their paper if they wanted to do that. <clears throat> so this would help them with their alphabet too, if you had younger kids. So it would be their choice. They could leave it like that with just one vehicle per color, or they could add and kind of make a collage where things go on top of each other. So they could put several of the same thing on there. And really it's an easy technique and they can just kind of do it how they want. So that would be their choice for the open-ended art. And then maybe another plane. And they could stop wherever they felt they were finished. And then so that's the transportation one that I did. And I also experimented earlier with shapes. I just used an octagon and a pentagon and just overlapped them with two different colors. And again, it would be the student's choice of how they want their artwork to look. So that's it for cookie cutter painting.